Hi, my name is Nick and I am the lead developer of Lock Visibility. In this quick video, I'm going to go over the integration between Block Visibility and Advanced Custom Fields, or ACF. Uh, since you're watching this video, I'm sure you're, you're aware of what ACF is, um, but if not, it's a fantastic plugin. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, one of the most used in the WordPress ecosystem. And what it basically does is allows you to add custom fields, and which can do just a myriad of, of, of different things. Uh, ACF was a big feature request, and so we're tackling it with this uh, integration in version 1.8. So let me hop into a demo site here, and I'm going to start. I'm just going to remove this quickly. So we, this is uh, the 2021 theme, uh, just your standard uh, WordPress install with some with some dummy content, and of course ACF installed. So to demo this, I'm going to add a picture. Let's just add an image. Now, block visibility, if you haven't used it before, adds a visibility panel to every block in the WordPress editor, as well as the upcoming full site editor. And it allows you to conditionally display blocks based on a variety of different options. In this case, we want to do want to conditionally show a block based on an ACF field. So I've already gone ahead and I've added a couple field groups, so through, AC, through ACF I had a few uh, field groups here, a test and an example with a couple fields in each. And when we go back here and we go to our visibility panel, I've, I've added some default controls here, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on these three little dots, and this is where you can toggle the different controls in the plugin. Right now I just have screen size enabled, but you'll see ACF. and if you don't have ACF installed, you won't see this option. It's only if you have the plugin installed, so it's not going to clutter the user interface if you're not using ACF. But if you are, uh, you can click this button. I'm going to I'm going to deselect screen size just to kind of clean up the user uh, the, the interface a little bit. And when you click that button, you're going to get this panel now. So now we can control the visibility of this image or this block based on any number of fields that we have set in the system. So this is also searchable, so if I wanted to search for color or something, I could do that. Um, but you'll notice here we have both of our field groups, the test one and the example. So I'm just going to select color. Then you have a bunch of conditionals or operators that you can pick from. Uh, I've tried to make this as similar to ACF as I could. So in ACF, I'm sure you're familiar if you've used it before, in each field, use color for example, you have these conditional options, which is very similar. You pick a field, you pick an operator, and then you pick a value. So I, I kind of drew inspiration from this functionality. So that if you're used to that, this should be similarly, uh, <laughs> yeah, you should be able to understand this uh, just as much. So in this example, I'm going to show the block if color, the field color, has any value. In this case, let's change that over to how about contains. Now, ACF adds a meta box to the bottom of each page, and you can see that here. So we have our test field group, and I've just uh, set it to red. Let's set it to yellow as an example. So if the color is equal to yellow, I want this image to appear. So let's just update this. We will go over to our sample page. We will refresh the sample page. And there we go. Now we have our image. Now if I was to say, let's change this to blue. According to this rule, the image should disappear. And sure enough, it disappears. You can also chain different fields. So if I wanted to add, let's say, the image field, and I want it to have any value, meaning there's an image attached. Um, all right, we don't have an image here, so let's update this. So this should not display because I don't have an image selected. And sure enough, no block. And then let's go down here and let's add an image. Update. So if we go back to our block here, Here we go. 
color contains blue and image has any value. Again, this would not show because the color is yellow. Well, let's just double check. Again, nothing. Wait for this pop-up to disappear. Change it over to blue. And voila. Now, ACF is an incredibly powerful plugin, and what I'm showing you here is perhaps not uh, the most imaginative way to use the integration of block visibility in ACF. Um, but imagine if you were to add, because in WordPress, especially with a full set editor, blocks can be anywhere. Um, so imagine if you had your blocks in like the header of the page. So if you had blocks up here, you could conditionally show certain content based on the field that's attached to this page, attached to the sample page. So the functionality that's enabled by this integration is very broad and it's only going to become more and more useful as WordPress advances into the, into the world of full site editing. Um, but as of right now, uh, you can now control any block uh, based on ACF fields. Um, I do want to cap this little overview with one known issue. So every time I've been changing this, I've been going to the actual URL and re refreshing the page, and it displays what we expect it to display. The one thing to note is that the preview option, so if you were to go preview a new tab, the way that WordPress or the way that ACF is fetching the different fields that are attached to this page don't work 100% with preview. So just know that if you're previewing the tab uh, or previewing the page, you may not see exactly what you'd expect. So this is specific to the ACF control. So all the other controls and block visibility do not have this issue. It's just ACF and the way that the fields are retrieved from ACF. Um, so anything else, you don't have to worry about that. But when you're using ACF, if you want to get a clear view of what is actually going to display on the front end of your site, just make sure that you're looking at the actual page and you're not looking at a preview. Um, it all works 100%, but the way that the system uses it with the preview and the fetching of the fields, uh, it doesn't provide a clean, a clean picture of the settings that are set. So, and then the last thing I just wanted to touch on is that you can also reverse this. So you can add all the fields you want, and by default, it's going to show the block. If they, if they all apply, you can just flip that around, and you can hide the block if they all apply as well. So hopefully, hopefully you find that useful, and um, I look forward to what all you ACF users uh, come up with. Thanks for watching.